Dear students, welcome to today's class. Today I am going to explain a few problems from the chapter limits. Okay now, so from this limits I am taking uh, some uh, good number of variety number of problems. Okay, so without wasting our valuable time, so let us start our class. The first problem is today's uh, session is let f from r to r be a positive increasing function with the limit extends to infinity f of 3x upon f of x is equal to 1 then limit extends to infinity f of 2x upon f of x is equal to so very very easy problem this is the thing is first thing what here increasing function so it is an increasing function so it is an increasing function that means if it is a x it is a 2x it is 3x if it is 4x now what can you say this is f of x this is f of 2x and this value is f of 3x and so on. That means, so we know that whenever it is an increasing function, we know that 0 less than f of x is less than f of 2x is less than f of 3x. We know that it is an increasing function. Okay. Since f of x cannot be equal to 0, you divide with uh, f of x. So this is 0, 1 less than f of 2x by f of x less than f of 3x upon f of x. Okay, since f of x is not equal to 0, I divided with the f of x. Just by seeing this, uh, you can remember the sandwich theorem. Okay, you can remember sandwich theorem. Apply limit extends to infinity. So, you can remove this. So, limit extends to infinity 1 less than limit extends to infinity f of 2x by f of x less than limit extends to infinity f of 3x upon f of x. So, limit extends to infinity 1 means 1 only. So, limit 1 less than limit extends to infinity f of 2x by f of x less than this value already given how much 1. So, by sandwich theorem by sandwich theorem limit extends to infinity f of 2x by f of x value is also how much 1. So, very very easy problem this is using sandwich. So, whenever is given positive increasing function, you should get, a, you should got this idea 0 less than f of x less than f of 2x less than f of x. So, this is a positive increasing function. Okay now. So, I hope that you understand this solution. Let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to second problem. Limit extends to 2, the limit of extends to 2 under square root of 1 minus cos of 2 times x minus 2 upon x minus 2 is equal to. So, options are also available. Very, very easy problem. So, this is a limit x tends to 2 under square root of 1 minus cos 2a. 1 minus cos 2a is nothing but 2 sin square a. 2 sin square a x minus 2 upon x minus 2. Right. Understand limit extends to 2. So, this is a root 2 we can write it as. Generally students the uh, major mistake what they will do now. So, square root, square root and square they will get cancelled. That is wrong. So, always remember root x whole square is equal to x whereas root of x square is nothing but mod x. So, root x whole square is x root of x square is mod x. So, do not do that uh, mistake. So, here it is a uh, modulus of sin of x minus 2 upon x minus 2. Okay now. So, whenever you got the modulus, there uh, the value will change according to x tends to uh, left hand limit or right hand limit. For example, so the here the two cases arise. So, first to take the left hand side limit, limit x tends to 2 minus or of course root, what will be the value of sin of x minus 2? So, when x tends to 2 minus means what? x less than 2 that is x minus 2 less than 0. x minus 2 less than 0 means sin of negative, the negative will come out. So, therefore, this will become minus sin of x minus 2 by x minus 2. This answer will be minus 2. Okay, limit x tends to minus 2 0 means sin x by x value is 1. So, its value is minus 2. Let us take the right hand side limit, left hand side limit, right hand side limit. Limit x tends to 2 plus, so root 2 into, now x tends to 2 plus means what? x greater than 2, 
that means x minus 2 greater than 0 that means x minus 2 is positive therefore sine of x minus 2 is also positive now the modulus will become as it is x minus 2 by x minus 2 so this answer is root 2 so here you got left hand side limit as minus root 2 right hand side limit you got root 2 left hand side limit is not equal to right hand side limit therefore the limit does not exist very very easy problem this is the only thing you have to remember uh, in this problem is so you have to keep modulus here otherwise majority of the students they wrote the answer root 2 they will write the answer root 2 majority of the students if you don't know this concept of root of x square is equal to modulus of x right I hope that you understand this solution. So, let us go for next problem. Dear students, welcome to third problem. If limit extends to 0, 1 plus x times log of 1 plus b square whole power 1x, 1 upon x is equal to 2b sin square theta where b is greater than 0 and theta belongs to open bracket minus pi to closure bracket pi then the value of theta is okay what is the value of theta it should lie between minus pi to plus pi okay now first of all try to find out the value of this limit value of this limit first apply limit extends to 0 if you apply 0 this whole becomes 0 1 plus 0 1 as x tends to 0, 1 by x tends to infinity. So, this is 1 to the power of infinity model. Okay, now. So, we have the concept. What is that concept? E. So, the total limit should raise it to e power. e power limit x tends to 0. Whatever may be the here base, you have to subtract 1. That means 1 plus x ln of 1 plus b square minus 1 whatever may be here whatever may be here you have to subtract one from that again you have to multiply with one by one by x will come now as a coefficient it will come that means by x it will come so this is equal to 2b sin square theta is given so any more cancellations you have so here plus one minus one you can get cancel and uh, x is x and also you can cancel e to the power of limit extends to zero ln of 1 plus b square remains okay so if you observe 1 plus b square here there is no x term so there is no x term means you can remove this limit okay here base e is there so this is equal to 2b sin square theta so therefore you know e e 1 plus b square is equal to 2b sin square theta therefore sin square theta is equal to 1 plus b square by 2b Okay, now 1 plus b square by 2b. Now, if you observe, b is a positive value, b greater than 0. Observe. So, here b square is also positive, 2b is also positive. On the whole, this is a positive quantity. On the whole, it is a positive quantity and sin square theta is a positive quantity. Automatically, sin square theta should be positive. So, if you observe 1 plus b square by 2b, is it is always greater than or equal to 1. It is always greater than or equal to 1. Yes, we just know that. So, therefore, sin square theta is also should be greater than or equal to 1. So, one of the possible answers is sin square theta is equal to 1 and theta is equal to plus or minus pi by 2. Theta is equal to plus or minus pi by 2. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Okay, so this is the problem based on 1 to the power of infinity model. Okay, now, so very, very easy concept. The only thing what I have to remember is this 1 plus b square by 2b is always greater than or equal to 1. Okay, now, right. So you can remember that <coughs> here b greater than 0. If you option verification also you can do. It cannot be 1 by 2. So if you put uh, any value, it cannot be 1 by 2. If it is 1 by 2, plus or minus pi by 4 you can take otherwise root 3 by 2 it cannot come the one and only one positivity is there is a chance of getting if you take b is equal to 1 here 1 plus 1 1 2 times 1 that means 2 by 2 1 so there is one and only one possibility that is a uh, sin square theta is equal to 1 okay now so like that also you can guess the answer okay right so i hope that you understand this solution so let us go for next problem Dear students, welcome to fourth problem. <clears throat> the largest value of the non-negative integer a for which limit extends to 1 minus ax plus sin of x minus 1 plus a upon 
x plus sin of x minus 1 minus 1 whole power 1 minus x upon 1 minus root x is equal to 1 by 4. That means the limit value is also given 1 by 4. Now, what is the value of a he is giving? Right. By seeing this problem, it was asked in the advanced 2010 for it is a single correct answer type. So, very nice problem. So, by seeing this here you can immediately say that this value is 1 plus root x. Why? 1 minus x can be written as a 1 plus root x into 1 minus root x. 1 minus root x, 1 minus root x get cancelled. There 1 plus root x will come. Here also minus a x, here a is there. So, let us uh, grouping the terms, grouping the terms like this. So, we can write it as like this. <coughs> Limit x tends to 1. So, here you will get to take a common outside 1 minus x plus sin of x minus 1 by here also x minus 1 plus sin of x minus 1 whole power 1 plus root x 1 plus root x okay now right so here <coughs> by seeing this sin x minus 1 so we have the formula so limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta value is equal to how much 1 so here if I get x minus 1 by x minus 1, you will get the answer 1. That is why uh, divide the numerator and denominator with x minus 1. So, therefore, limit x tends to 1. So, if you divide with x minus 1, that means it is x minus 1. It's already numerator with 1 minus x. No, that way you will get minus a sin of x minus 1 by x minus a by 1 plus sin of x minus 1 by x minus 1 whole power 1 plus root x. Its value is 1 by 4. Its value is 1 by 4. Now, see here as x tends to 1 sin of x minus 1 by x minus 1 value is equal to how much? It's uh, this value is equal to 1 and its value is also 1. Now, on the whole what, uh, uh, what remains if you apply the limit. So, here minus a plus 1 minus a plus 1 that is a 1 minus a upon 1 plus this value is also 1 1 plus 1 2 whole power 1 plus 1 2 2 this is equal to 1 by 4 so here 2 4 2 square 4 will get cancelled so this is a 1 minus a whole square is equal to 1 so your a value is either uh, <coughs> if you solve it uh, 1 minus a is equal to plus or minus 1 so take two cases if you take two cases you will get either 0 or 2 you will get so what are the largest value of uh, a 2 is your answer understand so i hope that uh, you understand this problem very very easy problem the only thing you had to group the terms like that if you rearrange the terms the answer will come okay now i hope that you understand this solution let us go for next problem dear students <coughs> welcome to fifth problem let m and n be two positive integers greater than one if limit extends to zero e power cos of alpha power n minus e upon alpha power m is equal to minus e upon 2 then the value of m by n is then what is the ratio of m by n very interesting problem it was asked in je advanced 2015 under <coughs> single option correct answer okay right so whenever you are observed here e power x immediately you have to remember one formula that is limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1 that is the fundamental result we have right here also e power x minus 1 1 should be here that's why take e common outside first thing what have to do is first thing limit alpha tends to 0 take e common outside so e power cos of alpha power n minus 1 minus 1 by see here okay alpha power m is there oh keep it like that it is a constant term i will uh, write at the end okay right e power x minus 1 by x should be there here x should be there. x means what this whole thing is x that's why i don't cos cos uh, alpha power n minus 1 so up to here your value will become 1 okay so times limit alpha tends to 0 you are dividing with cos of alpha power n minus 1 so I, to make it is a standard form so you have to divide it now you have to multiply you now cos of alpha power n minus 1 by <coughs> cos of alpha power n minus 1 and uh, one more thing is there so here what is there alpha power m is there put it like that 
see here cos power alpha power minus 1 okay if it is minus 1 minus cos a if it is 1 minus cos a what is the formula 1 minus cos a formula 2 sin square a by 2 so that means 2 here uh, 1 cos alpha power and minus 1 is there that's why it will become minus 2 sin square alpha by 2 so that's why you multiply with alpha power 2n i will tell why you have to multiply uh, divide with alpha power 2n therefore alpha power 2n also understand so that's all so everything is clear if you observe up to here up to here your answer is 1 according to the standard formula so it, it is e into limit alpha tends to 0 this is a uh, 1 minus cos alpha that means minus 2 sin square alpha power n by 2 by so this is equal to alpha power n whole square is there into alpha power 2n by alpha power m understand this understand this so if you observe remove this square remove this square sin theta by theta sin theta by theta of course here 1 by n is there so there i that's why i divided with alpha power 2n that's why i multiplied with alpha power 2n understand this why i have arranged these steps so this is equal to minus 2e this square square is there if you square square is not there so if its answer is 1 by 2 1 by 2 since the square is there 1 by 2 whole square into limit alpha tends to 0 alpha power 2n minus m a power m by a power m so this is 2 square is 4 that is minus uh, cancel it will get so you will get minus e by 2 limit alpha tends to 0 e power 2n minus m is there ultimately you got this answer but it is given that the answer is minus e by 2 so the answer is minus e by 2 that's why this should be equal to 1 the limit extends to 0 e power 2n minus m value should be equal to 0 sorry should be equal to 1 so when it will become 0 when the power 2n minus m is equal to 0 so therefore when 2n minus m is equal to 0 therefore 2n is equal to m therefore m by n is equal to 2 so m by n is equal to 2 so therefore 2 is your right answer okay so very such a very nice problem nothing is here nothing is here the only thing is whenever you got uh, e power x so e power x minus 1 by you have to write down this as it is since i divided i multiplied here okay now so i got the formula 1 minus cos a 2 sin square a by 2 that's why i should get alpha power and whole square so since i divided with alpha power and whole square here also i have, I have to multiply alpha power and whole square so after this as usual the answer will come okay so dear students so you enjoyed today's class okay so in the tomorrow's class <coughs> with some more problems i will uh, I will come before you. I hope that you are all preparing well for your examinations. All the best for your exams.